man opens the visor on the plane, he saw a girl outside, he immediately leaned the window to look closely, she looked at him and even reached out her hand, Devon was fear, because of being curious, he turned to look again, but the girl disappeared, he did it again, her face suddenly leaned on the window, Devon was threatened and stayed away from it, the other passengers were also scared, he thought that he was hallucinating, then he went to the toilet, he wanted to be more alert, it has a scary face in the mirror, then he screamed loudly, and was frightened out of there, Alice immediately comforted him, but he was too hysterical, so his body is constantly convulsing, and his mouth is muttering something, Thad is a policeman, he hastily pressed Devon down, and gave him a sedative to avoid scare other passengers, so he took him to the rear compartment, Alice was in charge of comforting the other passengers, a woman wants to eat a salad, not long after eating, then suddenly something moved in her mouth, and felt nausea, she vomited everything on the floor of the plane, they were full of insects, Alice brought a towel to clean it, and asked her colleagues to check the remaining salads, unexpectedly, all the salads were spoiled, worms were crawling, throw away the rest of the food, and called to the cockpit, to report the situation, but as soon as the phone connected, the signal was lost, outside thunder rumbled, inside the plane also blackout, the engine was hit by lightning, and stuck started burning, the plane gradually lost control, and constantly falling down, Captain Jack hastily controls, try to pull up, let the plane work properly, with the efforts of the crew, everything is back to normal, Jack was stressed, and also seems to have hallucinated, he saw a lot of people in the middle of the dark cloud, but co-pilot Ryan next to him couldn't see anything, this girl was looking in the mirror, and heard a baby crying, but on this plane are all adults, no children, Anna was so scared and wanted to leave, but the toilet door is locked, so she can't go out, Anna shouted for help, Alice was outside and wanted to help her, but she was unable to open it, suddenly Anna was reached out by an arm, and dragged into another space, it was the strange surroundings, she was afraid so that cry, and closed eyes, passengers outside heard the sound, ran to help open the door, and Anna was sitting on the floor, scared to the point of shaking, thanks to Alice's comfort, Anna gradually calmed down, the whole cabin began to panic, but the strange things continued, Donika opened the luggage, when her wrist was suddenly grabbed by a hand, this time she was also dragged into another dimension like Anna, it's very dark here, and there's a scary woman, she told Donica, there was a murderer on the plane, then she raised her hand, Donica came back to reality, after a series of incidents, everyone is finally aware that, a mysterious thing existed on the plane, she was trying to tell them something, but this man thinks that people are talking nonsense, and intentionally causing fear, he angrily sat down, wanting to open the barrier to see the situation outside, and then this time he also also saw that ghost, then Thad said, listen, I need everyone to stay sober, calm down, now I don't think it's a terrorist, so let's not use this word anymore, it only scares us more, while everyone is having a hard time to calm down, a strange woman appeared, Captain Jack was suddenly strangled by the co-pilot, leads to the plane losing control, constantly falling, passengers screamed, at dangerous moment, Thad rushed in to control Ryan, he immediately lost consciousness, after Jack escaped, he immediately took control of the steering wheel, and was able to control the plane in time, everyone was saved, but they faced the next problem, because a scary woman appeared on the plane, she pointed towards the cockpit, then rushed over, then disappeared, Ryan was possessed by a ghost, and attacked Jack, a scary word was showed on the window, this is no longer a coincidence, they discussed that, inside the luggage compartment is definitely problematic, with the guidance of Thad, a group of people went down to the luggage compartment, where they caught a glimpse of a baby and three ghosts, following the umbilical cord on the floor, they found a bag, when they opened it up, it was full of photos, and the girl in the picture was the ghost who they saw, the hair in their pockets which they were abused before they died, there's also a hammer, probably a murder tool, just by finding out the owner of this bag, Ty can determine who the killer is, they also found an ID card, but the information on it that surprised everyone, Jack is completely clueless, the most important thing is to get all the passengers to land safely, suddenly, Thad entered the cockpit, and threw the bag in front of Jack, it turned out that this was Jack's bag, those girls were all killed by him, faced with real evidence, Jack refuses to admit it, Thad was about to pull out the gun, he pulled the lever down, he wanted everyone to be die with him, suddenly the ghost on the plane haunted other people, the passengers became chaotic, the ghost haunted Donica, she immediately squeezed Jack, passengers took the opportunity to untie Ryan, 
he promptly did not build the plane, and Thad caught Jack. But he knocked Thad down. At the same time, he stole his gun, and also arrested Donica to threaten, and wanted everyone to obediently listen. But at this moment, the shrill cry of a child resounds. Everyone had to cover their ears. Three unjust souls killed by Jack suddenly appeared. They surrounded Jack under this scary atmosphere. Jack has confessed all his sins. He likes to play role-playing games, unexpectedly killing people. As a result, he not only didn't report it to the police, but also became addicted to this game, then killed two more innocent girls. Under the power of evil spirits, Jack slowly pointed the gun at his head. After Jack died, his soul was also dragged away by three witches, thrown out of the plane, then struck by lightning. Once finished, the passengers returned to their seats and fastened their seat belts, and Ryan is doing his best to get the plane back into orbit. The plane finally landed safely at the airport.